Hello everyone, this is Shannon and I'm so excited to be part of Waffle Flower's November release blog hop. In this video, we're going to do some partial inking to the brand new Winter Wishes stamp set. This is the Winter Wishes stamp set. It's a sweet little layering stamp set. I love these cute little kids dressed up in their winter wear. The knit print on these little hats are just so pretty and it's a really fun and easy stamp set to layer. I'm going to start with this first layer to this stamp set. This first layer actually includes the faces and the knitted portions of the hats of all three of these kids. And I'm just going to ink each kid up with a different uh, combo of colors, or a different hue I should say. This first kiddo I'm going to ink up in blue. So I'm starting with the Distress Oxide, and this is Tumbled Glass. I am being careful while I ink up this stamp to avoid getting any of this blue on the second kiddo in this stamp. This is actually pretty easy to do, but if it looks difficult to you, you could mask instead. But I found this really simple and a lot faster. So I'm now just going to ink it up in tumble glass a second time just to get a nice solid impression. So I'm just stamping it a second time here. If I did get any ink on the second kid in the row of kids, I would just wipe it off with a chamois or a baby wipe. Now I have a darker color. This is Salty Ocean Distress Oxide and I'm partially inking. I do this simply by angling my stamp pad so only like the very edge of the stamp pad can touch the stamp and I'm just inking up the bottom of the knit hat and his scarf. And I'm also taking a brush and just tapping where the edge of the Salty Ocean is on the hat to kind of blend it out and soften it a little bit so it just doesn't look like there's a line of blue but kind of a gradual ombre look on the on this blue hat. Now I'm moving on to the second kid. This one's a little trickier to ink up so I'm definitely angling my ink pad so I just had the very tip of it touching the stamp and I'm able to ink up mainly the center uh, kid. I do get a little ink on the other two kids so I just used my chamois and kind of wiped that ink off. You saw me earlier on the blue um, boy, I was using my finger just to pick up the ink too. You can definitely do that. It's just obviously messier. So I just re-inked the hat again or the second boy again in this uh, cracked pistachio distress oxide and stamped him a second time. Now I'm going to do the partial inking. So again, I'm angling my stamp pad here and just inking up, inking up the bottom portion of his hat with Lucky Clover. Again, I'll take my paintbrush here, paintbrush here and pounce over where the Lucky Clover ends just to soften that edge so it doesn't look like there's a stripe of this darker green there but there's more of a gradation from the darker green to the lighter green. So now moving on to the third kid and I'm inking her up with worn lipstick and I'll just stamp her. She's really easy to ink up because she's not too close to the middle kid so and I'm going to ink her up one more or actually I'm going to move on to my second color and do some partial inking with my darker shade and this is candied apple a really pretty red just partially inking up her hat I do ink up her little mouth and eyes as well but I think it, it looks fine it's totally okay to ink up their faces with the darker shade and I just stamped that now I'm ready to move on to the second layer. So the second layer is divided up into three different stamps. Each stamp goes to one of the kids. So I'm going to start with this for this kid on the right and just grab that stamp for him and uh, position it, which is really easy to do. These stamps are super easy to position. In fact, uh, you could probably even just eyeball it with an acrylic block. You don't have to use a misty to do this, but the partial inking requires kind of a misty. It makes this a lot easier to um, do this partial inking technique with, with a misty. So this one I did a little differently. I kind of messed up. It doesn't matter. You can do either way. But I inked up with cracked pistachio, and then I went before I stamped, I went straight to my darker color and partially inked with my Lucky Clover, and then again softened where the two colors meet with my paintbrush. I'm going to use a different color for the cheeks here. This is really easy to ink up because the cheeks are very far away from that top around the hat. And I used sponge sugar for the cheeks. Now I'm going to move on to the middle kid. And each kid is clearly labeled. Um, they're either A, B, or C. And that's how you can identify um, which uh, 
copper and cheeks go to which child is whether, and, and it's all clearly labeled on the acetate for this Winter Wishes stamp set. So again, I'm going to do some partial inking here. I first stamped it in worn lipstick, and then I partially inked up the bottom of the half with, with candied apple, and went ahead and inked up the cheeks at the same time with the sponge sugar. Now I have the last layer here for the girl on the left. I She's kind of has three parts, so she has her topper, she has her cheeks and mittens, and then she has little dots for the center of her knitted hat. There's like flowers on her knitted hat. And so I am kind of did each section a little different color. So the topper I'm doing in my blue hue, so I inked it up with tumbled glass first, and then I will partially ink it with salty ocean. So I just stamped it twice with that uh, tumbled glass, and I'm partially inking it with uh, salty ocean and again with my little brush I'm pouncing at the edge of that salty ocean just to soften it and pick up some of that blue so it's, this is especially important on the little toppers or the pom-poms on these hats you can get away with not even messing with the paintbrush for the knitted portion because of all the little the, how the the pattern on the hat breaks up so it's not as easy to notice if you have a straight line across but definitely on little toppers you're going to make sure you pull out your paintbrush and do that and while I was talking I went ahead and stamped the little um, center of the flowers with Lucky Clover and I'm using sponge sugar for the mittens and the cheeks and then with a little bit of worn lipstick I'm doing some partial inking at the end of the mittens to again get a little gradation on there and just give it a little volume and a little interest. I did make a little boo-boo here and didn't really clean my my brush as well as I should have so I got a little bit of blue on the mittens but overall it kind of dries and evens out and some of it gets covered with the snow layer that, layer that I add la later. Now moving on to my sentiment. The sentiment is also from the Winter Wishes stamp set and I put down some anti-static powder and I'm now inking it up with Versamark ink and stamping it twice. So I inked it up, stamped it, inked it up, stamped it. That just gives a nice thick layer of Versamark and the embossing powder really sticks nicely to it. I'm using some silver embossing powder, just poured it on, tapped off the excess and then heat set with my heat tool. I just love the sentiments in this Winter Wishes stamp set. I love the very linear font with the more scripty font. I just I just love those kind of sentiments. So now I'm ready to kind of assemble this card. I'm going to use some liquid adhesive here and add it to an A2 top folding card base turned on its side and just stick down that panel that I stamped. Hold it for a second to make sure the glue has set. Now I'm going to create my snow mound. To do this, I'm just going to rip some cardstock. I'm going to, I have an A2 panel here, but I went ahead and just ripped off the bottom portion, and now I'm fine tuning because as you can see, it's a little bit too high, so I'm just continuing to rip little pieces, little portions off here and there because I want to make sure that you can see those kids. They're not covered by that snow mound, so I'm ripping off, and I only have a little bit more here to do right for that center kid, and I think that's good. So I'm going to pop this up with some foam tape. So I'm just going to lift it away here, grab a big piece of foam tape, stick it down, cut a little bit more for that edge, and remove the backing, and then stick it down onto my card front. I really like this little addition of the snow mound. It really tidies up the bottom of the kids, plus it adds some dimension and texture to this pretty simple card, but I just love the clean and simple look of it. The kids are so cute and I love that knitted print on the hats. It's so beautiful and intricate and I love their little smiling faces with their rosy cheeks. I hope you guys enjoyed today's card and video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again soon.